In today's video, I wanna show you how you can get your Fitbit uh, firmware on your smartwatch or fitness tracker on the latest updated version, if there's an update available. Hey guys, my name is Jeff. I've done a whole bunch of Fitbit tutorials on this channel. There'll be a playlist linked down in the video description or at the end of this video, be sure to check that out afterwards. Let's get things updated. So before we do some updates, uh, just for reference, I'm using a Fitbit Inspire 3, but this process will work for any of the Fitbit devices. Uh, what you want to do is make sure that both your phone and your Fitbit device have a battery of at least 50%. If they don't, go charge them up. You definitely don't want a low battery when you're trying to do an update because if you run out of battery in the middle of updating, that might brick your device and that's not good. Next is to make sure that you are running the latest version of the Fitbit app on your phone. I'm uh, on a uh, Android phone here, this is a Google Pixel 6a. Up in the right is this gear icon. I'm in the Fitbit app. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that gear icon and in here I can go to help and support. And under help and support at the top, I can see what version of the Fitbit app I'm currently running. This is 4.11. I'm gonna compare that with what's available in the app store. So from this point, I'm gonna to go to my Google Play Store. And here I am now, if you're on an Apple device, go to the app store. Uh, I'm gonna search up top here for Fitbit. So this brings up my list of different uh, apps. Here's Fitbit, I can see it's installed. I'm gonna tap on the name Fitbit. And then under Fitbit here, I can see all the information about this app. I wanna go to what's new and I'm gonna tap on that. This is gonna give me all the information about this and I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. This is where it's gonna give me the app information. And right at the top here, it says that this is version 4.11. If version 4.11 is available and I go back to my Fitbit app and I'm only seeing that I have like version you know, 4.0, I need to do an update. So from that point, I would go back to my app store and right at the top here, uh, I jump back out of, I'm going back a screen, but right here where it says open, it would typically stay like install. Uh, so I would download that latest version of the Fitbit app, go ahead and install it, and then go ahead and open it up. And real quick, as I do in all the videos on this channel, I've hidden Tinker. Tinker is our little hidden robot and he briefly pops up in all the tutorials on this channel. If you happen to see a little robot popping up during this video, Take note of the timestamp. That is the amount of time into this video that you see the little robot popping up and be the first person down in the comment section below to let me know that timestamp. If you're the first person, I will put your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page as well as give you a shout out in one of my future videos. So now that I know I've got the latest uh, version of the Fitbit app on my phone, I'm gonna go into device settings in the app. So in the upper left here is this icon uh, that says 77% of my watch or fitness tracker. And here it says connected to Fitbit. And I can see my device is a Inspire 3 and it does say there's an update available. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. And now I see a pink banner at the top of my device settings screen that says update tracker software. Now if you don't have a pink banner and it's grayed out, uh, there's a good chance that your Fitbit device is not syncing very well with your phone. So I would recommend at this point you restart both your Fitbit as well as your phone to see if they sync back up. Now the other uh, thing that happens a lot why this banner is grayed out is because you may have Bluetooth currently turned off on your phone. Uh, the Fitbit device connects and syncs to your phone using Bluetooth. So it's not gonna be able to do the update and that's a lot of times why the banner is grayed out. To toggle your Bluetooth on and off on an Android phone, uh, there are like shortcuts uh, to your Bluetooth. If you swipe down from the top of the screen and then swipe down again, this brings up those shortcuts or those hot buttons. My Bluetooth is right here. So I can go ahead and toggle that off Bluetooth and then toggle it back on by pressing that button. And then uh, I'm just gonna give it a couple seconds here to reconnect, make sure that everything is syncing Bluetooth wise. And uh, then if you had a gray banner, it should now be pink. So from this point, we're gonna go ahead and update my tracker software. Let's see if I can tap on that. There we go. Update your Inspire 3. It's gonna give me all the uh, verbiage here. And I'm gonna say I agree at the bottom of the screen. 
set up your Inspire 3. This process can take over 20 minutes to complete. Make sure to keep your Inspire 3 charging and near your phone until the update's done. So I'm gonna hit next and it's going to search for the device. And again, this doesn't have to be an Inspire 3. This could be any Fitbit device. And now it's going to start the update process. So while I'm seeing the update process on my phone, I'm also getting a little status bar on my Inspire 3, showing me that it's in the process of updating. All right, the update took about 10 minutes or so, but as you can see on my phone, it says your Inspire 3 is up to date. Uh, I can go ahead and hit done. And now from this point, I can see here that my firmware version is 63.2 and then all the different zeros. I no longer have that pink update bar at the top of my screen and my Fitbit is updated to its latest firmware. So I'm interested to know, were you able to successfully update your Fitbit? Let me know down in the comments section below. Go ahead and smash that like button if this video was helpful to you. Uh, I was using an Inspire 3 to do the demonstration in this video. I've done tutorial videos on the Inspire 3 as well as the other Fitbit devices. Those will be linked in my Fitbit playlist uh, down in the video description or at the end of this video. Be sure to take a look at those to get the most out of using your Fitbit. My name is Jeff. As always, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome and I will see you guys in the next video.